And good morning. You're back on the Don Bullock Morning Show on WHIG, the best local talk show on television, as Andrew likes to say. Um, and I said all that in one breath, monotone as I could. Um, we're here this morning with uh, David Walker with uh, North Carolina Wesleyan College. And, and as you can see, his description down there on the bottom, I'm not going to read all that. Um, but he is a, a very involved guy in trying to help businesses and help people learn about businesses, help the students at Wesleyan learn about it. And now he's got something that uh, North Carolina Wesleyan and uh, the Entrepreneur Center has put together to help veterans in our area. And I liked the mission. I'm going to introduce this as what, I, what really appealed to me when I heard about this, is that there are a lot of military veterans, or, or in the military vernacular, transitioned personnel, as they call it. These are people who were in the military who are now a veteran. They call them transitioned. And they, if they, they're not from the area, when they get discharged, they leave the area because there's nothing here that makes them hold on to it. But if they learn to get into a business, they take an idea they may already have and say they want to buy a Dairy Queen franchise and go into business for themselves, they have an idea, but they may not have the business plan. They may not have the, the knowledge of what to do that helps them stay in our area and become a contributor to our local community. And so the, the center came up with a good idea for veterans in the, in the area of North Carolina. This is the only program in all of North Carolina that's being offered to veterans. There is some GI Bill assistance that's available for it as well. And so I'm going to let Dr. Walker talk to us about that. Okay. Well, thanks, Clint. Um, basically, to kind of give you a history of what we've been up to is uh, at the end of August, which was the beginning of our uh, fall semester, we launched the Eastern North Carolina Center for Business and Entrepreneurship at North Carolina Wesleyan College. And uh, in conjunction with that, we've developed um, uh, a program, or actually have taken on a program called Fast Track for mm -hmm. New Veterans. And this They're is from the Kauffman Foundation? Uh, from the Kauffman Foundation. Yeah. And the Kauffman Foundation is the largest, uh, probably the largest entrepreneurship uh, foundation in the entire world. And they're based in Kansas City, Missouri. And it was started by uh, Ewing, Mary, and Kauffman. And the Fast Track program, which is an offshoot of the entire foundation, was started exactly 20 years ago this year. And then this is an entrepreneurial, I, I, instead of that fancy word, I like to say small business owner. Yeah. This is a small business owner class that teaches you how to start your business because, again, just because you have an idea doesn't mean you can execute it. You've got to have the right places, the right knowledge of what you need to do to prepare yourself to open your business. That's right. And what we'll do is we're going to set up, uh, uh, we, we've got it set up, is we're going to have a 10-week program uh, beginning Wednesday, January the 15th from uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So it's an evening class, three-hour class yeah. on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, once a week. Once a week. Uh-huh. Uh, excellent. So just I'm doing a little bit of recap in here. And this particular program is for veterans only. This particular program is for veterans only. So again, if you are a veteran in our area, and, and our signal reaches all the way down to Fayetteville up to Roxboro, so we have people in our audience who may be a veteran or may be related to a veteran, what is the qualification as a veteran? Can it be any veteran who ever served, or is there a time limit from when they were discharged? We're not excluding any veterans. We're including uh, all veterans. So uh, my recommendation is, is give us your best shot. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the likelihood is, is we'll, uh, we'll enroll you into the program. So if, say you're, you know, you're 60 years old and you're working at a, a facility somewhere else and you're getting ready to retire or you're, you're looking to start your own business, you've had an idea and you served in the Korean War, you're a veteran, you can come to this program as well. Absolutely. Absolutely you can. So, so. Or if you're currently in the military and you're getting ready to transition out in the next you know, six months or so, here's a great program so that when you leave, you're ready to step out and start your own business. And we're welcoming people that are, as you say, Clint, uh, currently in the military wanting to transition out because we want to help veterans uh, develop businesses in eastern North Carolina. Now, this is a 10-week program, meeting Wednesday starting uh, January 15th. January the 15th. At 6 o'clock. What goes on in this program? Well, basically, we go through uh, uh, 10 modules, but the, the interesting part is, matter of fact, I'm going to be the facilitator for the program, but the interesting... Call a professor. <laughs> you could. <laughs> but the interesting part is, is it's not just me up there talking for three hours a week, uh, three hours a night uh, for 10 weeks. Um, we're bringing in entrepreneurs and expertise from the Eastern North Carolina region to help out, whether it be financing is uh, one module or whether it be your uh, 
uh, developing a business plan or helping uh, people who've already developed, uh, who've al already been in business. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be there uh, for each and every one of the 10 weeks. Well, and, and opening a business and being a business owner is, is a daunting task. It, again, it's a dream that all Americans tend to have and be your own boss and do your own thing, but it can be scary. And you kind of take the scare out of it, although you're a realist. You put in the real world ideas of, okay, these are challenges you might face. You've got to be prepared for this. And, I, I, you know, the Kauffman Foundation is not a you know, fly-by-night organization that's just handing out a few dollars so you can have this in East North Carolina. This is a, the only program in the state of North Carolina, the only program being offered to veterans in the state of North Carolina that's going to help them become successful entrepreneurs. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a fast track to success, isn't that the name of it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's for new venture opportunities. So if you have an idea that you want to launch, that's why you'd want to come to this program. And uh, you basically, you, why recreate the wheel, Clint? Right. Why not come in and have somebody help help you develop your business idea and uh, uh, show you the steps of the way to go? I wish it were just as simple as cookbook one, two, right. three, but we can simplify the process. And, and again, this isn't just for folks in the Tri-County area. This is for anybody in North Carolina who is a veteran. And, and this is for their spouses too, because in most cases, it's not just the veteran who's getting out of the military and starting a business. Usually your family is involved. These things are, are normally bootstrapped. You're using your own money or nest egg. You might be using credit cards and family members to help angel fund your business. And so we want your spouse to come as well, or a business partner if they're part of what you're doing, and learn about this fast track program. It's, so if you're in Fayetteville, if you're in Jacksonville, if you're in Goldsboro or Cherry Point, you're all eligible for this. If you're a veteran who served 25 years ago, you're eligible for this. Mm -hmm. So don't think that this is just for people in the area. This is open to anybody in the state. Absolutely. And uh, um, you, you mentioned a good point. Uh, spouses are very important. Uh, definitely bring your spouse because you don't go into business for yourself by yourself. No. You need to go into business for yourself with other people uh, at your side. And especially in those formative years, you're going to spend a lot of time with your new business, and it might sacrifice some family time, and there needs to be knowledge of that going into it so that your wife doesn't say, why aren't you working 9 to 5? Because exactly. small business owners don't work 9 to 5. Exactly. <laughs> but even though I think you use another word, daunting, sure, there's a lot of tasks and a lot of things that you need to uh, do in order to get into business for yourself, but you know, we can also make it fun. Mm -hmm. And that's what we plan to do, is to make this program uh, fun so you can, you can learn to enjoy your business as well. Well, and I want to slightly segue a little bit here to something that I saw last month that I was really impressed with, and that was the Shark Tank. Yeah. And uh, I think that was some of Springboard, North Carolina, which is a, a group of entrepreneurs based here in the, in the Rocky Mountain area. Mm -hmm. But it's not just limited to Rocky Mountain, it's the, the eastern part of North Carolina had a competition and you were one of the panelists, the judges on there along with Mayo Body and uh, Brian Wordsworth and um, Francis. Francis. Yep. <laughs> I, I couldn't. Francis Gravely with VHRE and uh, was really impressed with the competition, the students, the college students and as well as, as certainly with the small businesses mm -hmm. and that's something again, some, one of these, these fast track entrepreneurs that has a great idea could end up possibly being nominated for the Shark Tank Award next year or two years from now. And oh, win ten thousand dollars. I mean, there are opportunities for small businesses, for grants that are out there, for a lot of information. That if you go to this class, you're going to learn about what's out there and where the opportunities are. But I'd love to see one of these these students come through the program mm -hmm. and a year or two come out with the opportunity to go in, win ten thousand dollars. Well, and the interesting part about that is, is that, uh, and what we discovered through the Shark Tank process is there is a whole community out there of entrepreneurial spirit, if you will. And a lot of times we don't recognize that. Um, and I guess to, to make my point is that uh, there's a lot of help out there. There's a lot of help for aspiring entrepreneurs, and, and we can tap into that now. Now, real quick, if somebody w is, wants more information on this, how can they mm -hmm. find it? Uh, they can go to the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce. Okay. That's uh, rockymountchamber.org. Just That's like right. it sounds. RockyMountChamber.org, and there is a link called uh, Kaufman mm -hmm. uh, Fast Track. And all you do is click on the link, and it will ask you if you want to learn more about it, and then it has you apply. And then when you apply, just go in and hit the final submit button, and you're in. 
And there are, there are, we don't have an official announcement on it yet, I don't believe, on the GI Bill status? Do we have? We are still waiting from the uh, approving agency, okay. but we have made application um, uh, several weeks ago, and we're very, very hopeful uh, that will come through. So at the current moment, depending on your status, you may be eligible for GI reimbursement, but we're hoping, and, and hoping the key word here, that for some folks, this program may be free to them and uh, reimbursable. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some opportunities. Again, go to the, the Chamber website, click on the link. There's a lot of detail on there. And uh, again, the class starts January 15th. And there will probably, well, there will definitely be a uh, small mixer uh, towards the end of December. We're mm -hmm. getting very close, but we want to get the class uh, course mates up and running. So there will be something at the end of December yeah. that we will announce shortly. Okay, uh, awesome. Again, if you know a, a, a military member or a veteran, if you are a military veteran and you're looking to start a business, uh, this is a great program. Again, it's the only one in North Carolina. There are a lot of entrepreneurial programs out there. This one is specifically for veterans. It's tailored in a way to help you transition from the military or from your current position and become a small business owner, hopefully who turns into a big business one day. That's all goals of all small businesses. Nobody wants to always be small necessarily. Mm -hmm. You want to employ. You want to make money. You want to be your own boss. Exactly. And uh, please, come one, come all. And uh, we are very uh, willing and desirous of having you there. Well, David, I appreciate what North Carolina Wesleyan is doing and the Economic Development Center is doing over there. And uh, I think, that, again, this is the good news of what's going on in Rocky Mountain. There are some good opportunities, some good things going on to help the business community, to help people reach their dreams. Exactly. So thank you for being on this morning. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back after these messages.